everybody, welcome back to another Building Kashyyyk weekly segment. Um, so guys, we are already on week 10, and uh, let's get right into it. So guys, um, this is definitely going to be a bit shorter um, segment than usual. A um, couple different reasons for that. Um, this last week, I didn't get as much as I had planned to get done, but it was a pretty decent amount. Um, however, this this video is going to consist more of questions than... Uh, and seeing things. A lot, a lot of feedback I need from you guys on some things I want to be doing in the future. Um, so, first of all, the big thing that all, pretty much all I wanted to, all I did last, or this following week, um, was get the beach going. I got the tan flowing in. A lot of you said don't take the dark tan that far back, listen to you, and I went ahead and started putting a lot of tan in. Another cool thing that actually came in this week is a lot of these um, Wookiee Warriors right here. These guys right here have six of them, uh, probably eight or nine in total at the moment. I have another four, five, six, six I think. I want to have like 20, 25 by, for the Kashyyyk Mach in total. Um, but they're very expensive and they're very hard to find. Like they range um, between uh, five to seven dollars, so the cheapest being um, nine dollars for a brand new one. So they're very expensive per figure, they're not cheap, they're no clone troopers for sure. Um, however, I have a big question, I'm actually going to get into questions uh, right now with you guys. I'm going to put a picture up on the screen, um, right here, maybe right here, probably right here. Um, or Anyway, you see a picture on the screen, it is um, basically the uh, old version of Chewbacca and he doesn't have any of the printing on him, um, any of the print marks. Let me ask you this, um, because of the Wookiee Warriors being so hard to find uh, and also the availability of price, um, would you guys think using this non-printed old version of Chewbacca would be a good uh, substitute for Wookiee Warriors and Wookiees in general for um, building K for Kashyyyk, the Kashyyyk Mach? Um, so I'll let you guys, you guys decide. Yes or no on um, using this Chewbacca, this non-printed Chewbacca piece. Now, if you guys all, if I got a lot of yeses and a lot of you say, yeah, go for it, then uh, I'll be able to get up to 50 to even 100 of these type of Wookiees. Um, I found a resource and uh, it'll be pretty cool. So guys, let me know if you're interested in that. Uh, let me know if you think it's a good idea. It's a, definitely a better alternative than trying to find you know, 50 Wookiee Warriors that'll cost just my wallet when I could put all that money on parts and sets and battle packs where it'd get lots more use than buying a whole bunch of Wookiee Warriors that I'll only ever get use out of this mock for. But anyhow, um, so that's the first question I have for you guys. Uh, some other questions will come up later here in the segment, but um, yeah. So the beach was actually the only thing that really got worked on. However, something I do want to note is um, I showed in last week's segment, I showed a bit of a design of the wall, uh, the Kashyyyk wall. I asked you guys, you know, do you like the design, do you like the colors I used? I got some, a lot of you said yes, go for it. But I also, I look more at the criticism than I look at the yeses. I want to see why people are criticizing it. That's fine, constructive, constructive criticism is actually really great for this. I want to make sure this mock is as best as it can be. And I was looking at some of the uh, constructive criticism I got for it, and um, I was actually surprised. Like a lot of you were saying, "Ah, no, grays would just stick out like a sore thumb. The pole is a bad idea," and blah 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 blah. And I was like, "You know what? I think that might be right." So I've come up with an alternative solution of maybe thinking about building the outside, just just the outside of the base, out of uh, brown, reddish brown color. Like the idea of the base outside it's like a camouflage idea the outside of the base looks kind of look would look like uh, something that a Wookiee would build what do you think of that idea now obviously you're gonna have this giant door leading into the actual base which will be all gray and it'll look much more like clone base but it's being hidden by Wookiee construction on the outside let me know if you think this is a cool idea this is my second poll question um, now I'll, I'll get in some uh, I'll show you some pieces and etc of what I have in mind but like dark tan, reddish brown, brown, dark brown, those colors being used on the outside, uh, maybe having like some uh, uh, some bridges and cool stuff, um, and 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 having the idea of like uh, basically like 
a frontal look of a Wookiee type of setting. It would definitely work better in the front area because you have the Wookiee wall and everything. If you have all that, you know, have a gray wall sticking out between, you know, the mountains, um, then I just feel like it, 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 it's from what I read in the comments, it would just stick out like a sore thumb. So, yes or no on the idea of doing that. If you think I should just do a regular baseball, have my like turrets on the wall and such, and just know I had no Wookiee brown camouflage idea. If you don't think that's a great idea, let me know in the comments. If you do like that idea, I will get started on it this next week. Um, so yeah. So the beach was like the only thing I made actual building progress on, but another cool thing that happened just yesterday was I got one of the biggest brickling quarters I will get for this base, and it consists of a lot of parts, and we're going to go over that um, very shortly here. I also got another brickling quarter, I'm looking at it right now, and um, they're huge, like biggest brickling quarters I've gotten in a long time. Um, so it's very exciting, and I can't wait to show you guys what I got. All the different pieces, all the different colors, a lot of sand greens, dark, dark greens, dark tans, grays, browns, dark browns, um, a lot of great variety I have um, that came in. And I'm really, really excited. And the last thing that happened this week was I finally got my Mac Pro computer that I had mentioned earlier of why um, money spending will be a little on the low side, why I won't be able to get as many parts as soon as I wanted to. Um, but that finally came in, and I'm actually editing this video. This this is the pro I think yes, this will be the first video that I edit uh, on the new, new Mac Pro, and I'm very excited, very 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 excited to do that. So um, that is why not much building happened this week. A lot of just more decision making, as well as um, just waiting for Brickling quarters to come in, um, because I had ordered these parts. A lot of you again were saying you need more part variety. Stop with grays in the last week's episode. So immediately, two days after that uh, episode went up, I actually um, I went on a Bricklink and ordered a whole bunch of stuff. All right, guys, let's get right into the beach and uh, the Bricklink orders. So let's go right into that right now. All right, guys, we're getting right into the segment. Um, so uh, yeah, so here's what I did with the uh, the beach. Um, like I said, I really like how it's looking right now. Um, got all these Wookiee Warriors right here. Again, I'll have more of them soon. But anyhow, here's what I have going on. Kind of like uh, took it from uh, the dark tan here and floated right into the sand. I think it looks really good. And then I just threw in some. Uh, I threw in some tiles in here, and uh, that looks really good. And I pretty much got all the way down to this first base plate, and there's three more base plates to go before this is complete. Um, but you know something to note is uh, I just got these um, part of the new Bricklink order. These uh, one by ones, and they have not been part of the been used yet. So these will be those will be great to add even more detail to this. Um, and then you know I have these pieces right here. I got a pretty good variety. I'm not sure how to incorporate um, these right here. Not sure yet, but uh, hopefully I'll find something here soon. But you can see like it's kind of flowing up. So flowing up slowly and then it's going down slowly. It's a nice little incline. Um, so yeah, I, I'm really, really liking this. It, it's exactly how I pictured it. Um, yeah, so if you, know, if you can just imagine this going all the way down here, then uh, then yeah, that's, that's what it's going to look like. And hopefully... And, uh, at least in the next few weeks this should be fully done uh, at least less than three weeks this will all be done because I have a lot of these plates a lot of tan plates already so shouldn't be too much of a problem should be able to at least get down pretty far if not already done um, but yeah it, it, it took some time you gotta take your time on this uh, I must have spent probably a couple hours on this because I didn't there's actually two times where I didn't like what I did I had it like too far back I was like eh that looks bad um, so I had to redo it twice but uh, now I got it down and I know exactly how I want to do this 
And you can see how like I have some, some pieces kind of like flowing in in here, um, giving an effect that's really attaching to the to the wet sand and and reality of the situation. That's what I have going on here. So I really like it and it looks really good. I um I mean you guys can uh, uh, to me I think it looks great. Let me know if you uh, if you agree. Oh, by the way, this right here is just kind of for play. Uh, I was I was on uh, Flickr the other day, and I noticed someone built water like well, like that. So I just tried it out and see how it looked. It looked kind of cool though, but uh, we're definitely still going to go with the the studded way. Um, but yeah, so that is the beach and its progress that has been made. All right, so something that you didn't see coming was uh, uh, from the last week, guys. I went to Toys R Us again. Went ahead and bought a few more battle packs. Um, so what we have here is this entire um, pile is um, Uda Pow Troopers as well as this one. And this kind of medium pile right here is Kashyyyk Troopers. This one right here is Clone Turbo Tanks. And then you have one Seleucami here. Now this is all added to all of this. This is an entire box of... Um, so, uh, of uh, Utapau also got a Republic Cannon now and all those battle packs over there and right here so that's added to the collection can't wait to build them again I'm probably gonna have a bunch of my friends come over and that'll be really cool <laughs> um, but yes yeah, so I, I thought I might show you guys this um, I know again a lot of the youngsters like seeing this so um, yeah alright guys let's move on to the Bricklink orders all right, guys. So this is the first Bricklink order I received this week. Um, before we get into that, um, just tilt the camera up here and just show you. There is. That's the computer that I ordered right there. That is the Mac Pro, and uh, this is my computer setup right here. Got a nice subwoofer down there. But anyhow, on to the Bricklink parts. Um. So guys, a lot of. Uh, 2x4 two uh, two plates, dark tan, 2x6 plates, dark tan. These are going to pretty much be useful for going all the way. Remember how I said I'm going to continue down the rest of the beach? These are going to be used for that. Um, so I ordered more of that. In this bag, there's actually a couple of different parts going on here. Um, we have, you know, some just mountainous pieces, some, uh, some like 1x1 one one, um, cheese slopes, and some 2x2 two two closed cheese slopes, and and just some cool sloping, that, and they're all dark gray by the way. And then I got some dark green um, sloping here and some dark green cheese slopes as well. Um, so yeah, and there's there's some more stuff like some olive green right there. One, one by two plates. So a lot of goodies in that. Right here, an entire bag full of sand green. Um, uh, one by three slopes and uh, again hard color to get so very cool I was able to uh, to get that and then I got these um bowls um, you see them in like the uh, the Ewok attack and and, and uh, sets like that I thought I might get some use out of these with uh, with the Wookiees um, and then I got some of these um, and remember how I said the idea of in the beginning of the video, I was talking about the idea of the front of the clone base having a Wookiee exterior. Um, this is part. This is using part of like the idea, using these plates as like maybe a flooring um, and such. So it's just an idea. And then the last thing I have here is some uh, uh, two by four plates, dark green. And these look great as well. So yeah, that's the first sprinkle order. Very nice. Alright, so at the beginning of the video, guys, I told you that I had received like one of the largest sprinkling quarters I've gotten in a long time. I was not joking with you. This sprinkle quarter goes all the way down to here. And it's stacked as well. A lot of pieces in this. I think I think the cart said that I ordered around four thousand pieces in this one break link order um, so <laughs> that's pretty crazy 
Um, I didn't realize how, how much I ordered until it was all added into the cart. Um, because there's a lot of different pieces here and I wasn't thinking I was adding so much. But then I got to the end I was like, wow, this will be really sweet. I know everybody will really like it. So I'm going to get like kind of an aerial view uh, and go over it that way. But I'll have to go over it fast because um, I don't want to spend too much time on this. Um, so first thing, we got these right here. These are going to be used for the mountains. Um, probably actually going to stack it over here. I got three bags of these slopes right here. These are going to get a great starting point again on the mountains. Actually, excuse me, four bags. Um, there's one here, here, and here. Um, I got some of these glass panels. Those will be used on the inside. Very excited. Um, some of these um, gray slopes right here. These are all for the mountains, by the way, all these gray pieces you're seeing right now. So again, more of these. Got, got a lot of bags of those. Um, got some cheese slopes and dark gray color. Some more slopes. More slopes. Did I tell you that I have more dark gray slopes? <laughs> um, so yeah, I got a lot in dark gray so we can get a good start in the mountains for that. Um, right here, I got these uh, special pieces in, in reddish. By the way, all the brown you're gonna see here is reddish brown. That is the technical color for it. It's not brown, it's reddish brown. Um, so yeah, so I got a bunch of these. These are gonna be used for some something coming up. Um, some black, uh, you can see what they are, they're kind of like turnable pieces. These are going to be used for something as well. Can't wait to show you guys what I have in mind. Um, and I'm sure a lot of you are like, whoa, what is this all going to? It's either going to go to the large tree, the Kashyyyk wall, the uh, if you guys go for it, the exterior of the clone base, or just uh, just the forest in general. Um, so that's what all this dark brown is, reddish brown is going to be used for, as well as some other details for the for the beach. Um, I got some arches here. Um, some uh, you can actually see what they are. They're actually kind of cool looking. These uh, one, one by two plates with uh, hooks on them. Some more cheese slopes. Can't get enough of these cheese slopes. Cheese slopes are one by one plates with a slanted slope on it, by the way, if you, if you didn't know that technical term. This bag opened during shipping, but uh, some slopings. Let's see what they are. Um, two by six plates, dark brown. Um, more, more slopes. I'm... It's, it's good, yeah. Anyhow, and then more slopes. Inverted slopes right here. Um, here's some more um, dark uh, gray um, tall pieces for the mountains. It's right here. More plates. More br uh, Actually, no, we got some... Uh, Got some dark brown bricks up in here. These will be used for, uh, for keeping everything together. Um, I got some of these. Um, they're two by two round plates. These will be very useful, actually. Um, these, I didn't even know they made this piece in uh, reddish brown until I was on Bricklink the other day. And I was like, wow, I gotta get some of these. So these might come in handy if we, uh, if we go for that Wookiee exterior. So that's very exciting. Um, some uh, curved plates at the on one edge of them. Some more plates right here. More inverted plates. There are inverted slopes. These are bigger though. Remember how I said I needed one more, uh, more of the one by three plates? Well, I finally got those. <laughs> um. I got some of these right here. These, um, uh, I guess you could call them like uh, columns technically. Some more of the bigger versions, though. Some more um, plates with curved on one side. Um, some inverted slopes here. More of them. Can't get enough of these. Um, one by one plates. Very nice. 
um, some bricks going on here. Um, some uh, one by two bricks. These will be very useful. Um, these are really cool, actually. These like uh, kind of roundish cylinder type things. Um, not cylinder, but uh, just a round circular brick. More slopes. Can't get enough of them. Darker slopes. I know. It's just too amazing. We're actually gonna move the tripod down here a little bit. Finish up here. There's my iMac right here. Got some. Uh, if you're wondering. Got some drawings here that I got received from Brick Fair. I forget his username, but he's a really cool guy. Uh, he drew some of the minifigs for you figures that I make, and I was really, really happy. Really cool how I got that. Uh, but anyhow, got a lot of these. These will be very useful. I got a lot of one by two reddish brown plates. Um, some one by one bricks. Didn't get as many as I probably should have actually. <laughs> Um, we got some of these, more slopes, some bricks, I got another bag of these, I got two bags full of these right here, these are going to be very, very useful for, for Kashyyyk, can't wait to use those, other bags right here, um, got a bag of uh, 1x4 bricks, and then these right, right here, these are great. These will be used for construction because they're nice, long, big um, support brakes that I can use. Um, but yeah, so guys, I just went over this giant from here to here. Giant brick link order. Pretty sure it's consisted of 4,000 parts. That was the total. One of the largest Bricklink orders I've pretty much ever received. So, uh, pretty crazy. Um, yeah. Trust me, I got a really good deal as well. I, I, it was a pretty good deal, actually. Way, way more, way surprise, way more surprise than you might think. Uh, for, you know, 4,000 pieces, how much I paid for it. A lot less than you might think. Um, but yeah, so guys, a lot of parts cannot wait to start, cannot wait to start building. Um, and really getting Kashyyyk going. This will this will be a really great Kickstarter for us. Um, so very excited. I know a lot of you are excited. Sorry for the long, long, longness of uh, of going through the parts, but I know some of you out there would like to see the different parts that I order um, to see how I look for at variety. So I wanted to do that. All right, guys, let's go ahead and end the video off. All right, guys. So you pretty much saw the video, guys. We went over a lot of Bricklink orders. Um, as well as uh, you know some battle packs that we got and uh, the beach that was worked on so not as much building again that I wanted to get done this week but I had things come up like you know the computer coming in a lot of bricklink orders that I wanted to wait to come in and um, just getting you guys opinion before I actually make any actions first I don't want to just rush into something that you guys think is a bad idea um, so again I'm gonna ask for two things guys I want you to vote on whether I should use that uh, blank Chewbacca kind of armor, his like head piece modified is the technical term for it. But do you think that would be a good use, a uh, good way of using Wookiees? Um, and the second thing is, um, do you think the exterior, just the exterior, the inside of the clone base will be completely looking like it'll look like Republic, it'll look like Coruscant inside the Republic base technically. Um, but do you think an exterior with Wookiee architecture is a good idea for right here between the mountains. Do you think that might look cool? It's like, it's like the Republic was making sure the droids didn't know they were they were building a base there yet, um, and to, and then they get surprised during the battle that they didn't see that base coming. Um, how they didn't know about it? Maybe they had like you know radar signals that deflected the CIS, CIS's signals. I don't know. There's, there's some kind of technical term I can come up for the how they didn't recognize it, but that's all just my own fan fiction that I can come up with. <laughs> but anyhow, um, so yeah, there's two things I want you to guys vote on, um, using the Wookiee uh, warrior figures um, and, uh, and using Chewbacca instead of those. Um, and the second thing is the exterior of the Wookiee, uh, having Wookiee, Arctic, uh, Wookiee architecture as the exterior of the clone base. So uh, those are two things I'm going to ask for, guys, and that's going to do it. Um, uh, so actually this video is going to be pretty decently long, but uh, I went through a lot of great stuff. And uh, I think we got through a pretty good amount. 
Um, so before I go, I'm sure some of you noticed that I did get a haircut, and it was a bit personal, but uh, a lot of you have to, you know, every time you come back for each Kashyyyk segment, you, you have to look at me. <laughs> I hope that's not a bad thing. Um, but uh, I got a haircut, I wanted to do something fresh, new, I've had the same haircut. Those of you who follow my vlog channel, I got a fresh haircut, um, and uh, a, lot of di a lot more different looking, more original. Uh, I, I kind of had enough of it in my eyes and such, but I uh, wanted to do something different. And I think it looks good. And I had a lot of compliments as well. So if you don't think it looks good, sorry. Um, but I hope you get used to it. That's all I have to say. Um, but yeah. Anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this Kashyyyk segment. Thank you very much for watching. Please share this video, guys. Please like, share this video with your friends. If you enjoyed it, you saw some great things out of this video. Uh, or any of the Kashyyyk segments, share with your friends. Get this uh, get this series going. Get it really popular. Um, that'll help uh, help me definitely in the long run, um, and, and make this a really great great success. And uh, I really can't wait to start building this week. I got a lot of parts. Um, I have no excuse this time to not build, um, unless of course something bad happens. But let's not think that way. Anyhow. Um, like the video guys, and of course subscribe, it's the biggest thing, subscribe, you get my videos up on the front page of your YouTube account, you get them right on the front page, so it's totally worth it, you just have to make sure you click the little tab at the top that says my subscription to see that. Um, but yeah, definitely subscribe, and you can come back every Friday in front of your YouTube page, and new Kashyyyk video will be there, so very exciting. Um, so that's, that's actually going to do it guys. Um, subscribe, like, um, share the video, and that's going to do it. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next Kashyyyk Weekly segment. You guys have a great week. Till next time. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.